Hey everybody, it's Lane Amen with LayoutAday.com and the free monthly Scrappinars and I have a few tips for you to maximize your experience when you log into our monthly Scrappinars. We use WebEx and when you get the link in your email, the first thing you want to do is click on the link and install any little applets or software programs that you need to to join us in the web room. The first thing that's going to happen after you enter your name and log into the web room is you're going to get that little screen right there that says your host has started an integrated voice conference. Do you want to participate? You need to click yes. Do not close that screen. Do not click no. Click yes. That will start the audio for you. After you click yes, that screen will close and you'll see this little screen asking you about phoning in. You do not have to use your phone to call in. You are listening over your um, com computer speakers so you can just close this screen. Um, no harm, no foul. Just click on the red button, close it. If you are still having problems with audio, the first thing you want to do is give it just a minute or so. Sometimes it just takes a second for it to buffer and for the sound to start. If you are still having issues with the sound, make sure your speakers are on. If you are still having issues hearing me, please go up to Communicate menu at the top of your screen, at least on the Mac, it's at the very, very top. Communicate, you can see where it's pointing to in that red arrow there. And there are a couple settings you can check out to test your speakers and make sure that your audio is working properly. So click on that communicate link and then go to the bottom where it says integrated voice conference and make sure you have joined the conference. If you have joined, you'll get something that looks just like this where it says leave conference and volume. If you have not yet joined, it will prompt you again to join the conference and click yes, you want to join the integrated voice conference. You can also see a little button there that looks that, um, or not a button, but an item on the menu that says volume right below leave conference and you can check your volume of your speaker set settings there. You can also do a speaker microphone test and once you do that you'll get this um, pop-up menu with the speaker and microphone. Don't worry about the microphone. Your mic is not going to be live but you can check which speaker you have selected and in this picture here you can see I have my built-in output selected and it also shows where the volume is. So you can test that and make sure your speakers are working. Oftentimes the biggest issue we have is people do not have their audio speakers on so this will let you make sure you've got your audio speakers on. Another setting you can check is this little pop-up menu that shows up at the bottom of my screen and it says volume and again it shows the speaker volume and the microphone volume and you can make sure that your speaker is not muted and then it's turned all the way up if you're having any trouble hearing anyone. So those are just some settings to check and don't forget give it just a minute or so to make sure that it's buffered and it's starting. This is why we recommend people come in and into the room before the top of the hour so they can get this all addressed before the scrapinar starts. Now, once you get all that set, over on the right you're going to see a number of different panels. The one at the top says panelist and attendees. It's going to show who's on the panel. It'll be our special guest and myself. And then it'll show a list of attendees. Do not worry about the microphone button. You will not be on live. With 800 plus people joining us, there's no way we could turn everyone's mics on. Right below that is the, scra excuse me, the chat screen where you are able to see who else is in the room and see what they're chatting about and uh, chat back with them. So you can see a list of all the attendees there. You're going to enter your chat into that panel right below where the, where, right where the red arrow is pointing, right below send to. You can put in things like, hey, Sally, nice to see you. Hey, Joni, I love that page you put up yesterday. Then before you hit return to send your message, make sure you have selected send it to all attendees. Right now in this picture, you'll see it says send to host. You don't want to just send it to me. You want to send it to everybody. So make sure you select send to all attendees. Right below the chat panel is the Q&A panel. This is where you're going to use it just like the chat panel, but you're going to use it to ask questions about the presentation. So for instance, you might say, oh, um, Paula, how did you um, adhere that here? Excuse me. How, how did you adhere that to the frame? Or what's your favorite uh, embellishment to use? Or how many buttons did that take? All those things about the content are going to go into the Q&A panel. Enter them in there. Do not enter them into the chat area. Finally, at the very bottom of the screen, on the lower right for me, there's something that says manage panels. So I can hide the chat panel if it's distracting, or I can move things around, or I can lock panels in place. Again, it's a good idea to log in early before the Scrapinar starts so you can test out your audio, make sure everything's working, make sure you know the lay of the land so when the top of the hour hits, we're ready to go and we're not trying to answer questions in the middle of class. So that's it. Can't wait to see you there.